Hello, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be designing this support part. So let's start a new part file. Let's start a part file new. The measurement is in millimeter. So we'll come to the options, document properties, units, millimeter, and click OK. And for this part, your instructor wants you to create um so it was saying that students shall utilize a series of 2d mirror operation so meaning that when you create the sketch you need to use 2d mirror in it and you will also create a 3d mirror operation for other symmetrical feature so when you create the 3d portion you you want to use the mirror in it so he wants you to use the mirror in two ways he wants to use wants you to use it on the sketch and also wants you to use it on the 3d part so if i was designing this part i wouldn't necessarily create it the way i'm about to create it just but just to follow the instruction of your instructor we are going to create the 2d sketch of this profile and we are going to mirror it so let's start a new we already start our part file select sketch and I'm going to start a sketch on the front plane. So I'm going to bring it over here. I'll create my first 2D sketch, which is a rectangle like that. I'll make this center a construction line. And I'm going to add a dimension from this line to that line. It's going to be 82. From the bottom to the top is going to be 6 to 7 so that is right here 82 6 to 7 and now I will use to use the first 2d mirror you can select mirror entity entities to mirror this line that line mirror about this line click OK so that gives us our first one so I guess it's trying to get you to know, to learn the different features. So, but I wouldn't necessarily create it this way because you could have just create a rectangle and add your dimension. But again, we are learning about the mirror, the mirror entity. So the next thing we are going to do is come to the feature, extrude, going to extrude it back and 32 and click OK. So the next thing we are going to do is cut this shape on the side again with our sketch. So click on this face, sketch, number two, to bring it over here and zoom out. And I'm going to draw a shape like this. So that's a, draw something like this. So draw two lines that are kind of at an angle and make sure the sketch is closed so we are going to add our dimension from this point to that point is going to be 33 and that is right here and from this line not from this line from this point to that point it's going to be 21 and that is right here from this line to that line the angle is 30 and um, from this line to this line the angle is 30 and we have a fully defined sketch so let's draw another line from our origin point going up select that line make it a construction line and now to fulfill our second um, 2d mirror operation on the profile because i believe this is part of the profile too so there are multiple ways to do this but just doing it this way and we will select mirror entity entities to mirror we want to mirror this profile um 
mirror about this line click OK so we have that and now we can we can just go to feature extrude cut so we're selecting that profile up to next and click OK good so the next thing we need to do is we can cut this part in so let's select this face and sketch and I'm going to go normal tool just going to zoom out and move it over here and let's just draw a corner rectangle from here to there something like that so let's add our dimension from the bottom to that line is going to be 11 and from this line to that line it is going to be 36 so we can say 36 point five three plus thirty plus thirty six point four seven thirty six point five six plus thirty six point four seven divided by two so so that's what you should have our sketch is fully defined we're going to select feature extrude cut we extrude cut in the back and the distance is 13 click OK so we'll select this inside face um, sketch number two and to move it over here I'm going to select the straight slot so we'll click up here drag down click and drag click first we want to select this bottom point and our origin point add a vertical relation and add the dimension from this line to that point and it is going to be 9 add another dimension for this line or from this point to that point which is going to be 18 and add a dimension from this line to that line which is going to be 12.70 plus 12.65 divided by 2 Good. we have a fully defined sketch so feature extrude cut um, up to next and click OK so to cut this part in this other part we'll select this face so if I go to my front view you just want to rotate it to your right view and select that face and sketch so I'm going to go number two so you should have something like this your your origin point should be pointing in this direction so let's draw a line somewhere up here coming down something like that and from the top edge to that line the angle is 30 and we are just going to close that sketch so and the distance from the back to that line is 19 so from this back edge to that point is 19 we have a fully defined sketch come to feature extrude cut and we are going to extrude cut, cut it up to next and click OK Good. the last thing we need to do is cut that piece on the back and that we will use the mirror to mirror it to the other side select this face sketch normal two move it over here and just draw a corner rectangle something like that and 
you can have it touching this so something like that um the distance from this line to that line is six and the distance from the origin point to that edge is 16 and that is right here 16. we have a fully defined sketch so we have something like this going to come to feature extrude cut again up to next we're cutting it on that part and click ok now we can come to mirror and select the plane which is our right plane mirror about the right plane features to mirror the our extrude cut and click ok and that is how you create this part this was pretty straightforward we've used two series of mirror on the sketch and we only use one mirror on the body if you have any questions please leave a comment and thank you i'll see you in the next lecture